I'm the Lloyd Macedo, speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com and who's Lloyd Macedo today? The date is, what's the date? Uh, 28th June 2016, time right now is 11.09 uh, in the morning. Okay. Uh, today I just want to share with you my opinion as to why uh, getting into a breakup or breaking off a relationship or someone breaks off with you, maybe that's the best thing that can ever happen. Seriously. And I'm, I just want to share my views on this. Now, uh, you know, I've, I've been in so many relationships, so many, I've literally lost count, okay? And, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll just tell you, every time when you make a, a new relationship, obviously, you make a better choice. You don't repeat the same mistakes. So you're obviously choosing a better quality. That, that is, if you're evolving as a person, if you're not evolving, you'll keep making the same mistakes and get into the same, uh, you know, destructive pattern. But if you're evolving as a person, if you're changing, if you're learning, growing and improving and become mature, you obviously choose a better relationship all the way. So if this was the level at which you chose one person, the next time you'll choose even higher and you'll choose even better. So obviously it, it keeps going until the point where you meet someone who you know is, this is perfection. Now, I, I, I made friends with... Uh, uh, a really, really amazing woman. Okay, let's say, let's call her a Filipino, a Filipino girl, and uh, let's let's give her a name. Uh, say Apple. Okay, I'm just calling her Apple. Okay. So this girl Apple, she was beautiful, really, really beautiful, very beautiful, at least to my eyes. I don't know about others. I showed her photograph with many other guys. So she is ordinary. Okay, but to me, she was very beautiful. I invested a lot of my you know, time, energy, focus into into the relationship. I, I give up my 100%. And deep down, I had hopes and dreams that I would marry her, that we would have children, but I never told her that. So, because I wanted to earn it, you know, and uh, um, I give her 100%. I'm telling you, I, I never loved anyone as much as I loved her. I give her 100%. And I deep down, I had plans for marriage. Deep down, I had hopes and dreams but I never told her this, okay? Every single day, I would kiss her. Every single day, I would hug her. Every single day, I would let her know how much I loved her. Every single day, I would let her know how special she was to me. I did everything in the world a guy ought to do. I, I, I mean, I did whatever I could to keep her happy, whatever it took. And one fine day, she just dumped me. She just flat out dumped me. You know? I, I can't give you too many intricate details because I want to respect her privacy. So, and trust me, it, it was very hard. It was really hard. I was in an emotional shock. I mean, I was like, I give you everything and just dump me, you know, for a better guy. I mean, wow. Then the funny thing is she dumped me for a guy who was, you know, who apparently was her ex, who used to smoke, drink and cheat on her with other women. So it, it didn't make sense. Uh, I was trying to make sense and I, I really felt hurt. I, I, I was completely devastated, you know. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't take it. And um, I, I tried my best to get out of it. I couldn't get out of it to a point where I took help, okay. I took help from whoever I know, whomsoever I knew, I, I took help. And finally they had suggested, okay, fine, like you need to get out of this place. You need to keep your mind off. Uh, so I was doing whatever I could, exercise and keeping myself busy because I had to get my mind off. Until one fine day, okay, now, seriously, this is strange, until one fine day. You see, it's like, remember this, when, when you go through a breakup and your heart is empty, it's like there's a vacancy, there's a vacant lot, there's a void, and someone has to fill this void. So if you, if you go through a breakup, obviously, there's a void. And then you need to give yourself permission. You need to give yourself a chance to allow someone to come in. So I kept myself open. I didn't say never again. No, I kept myself open to anyone, to anyone. And uh, I was not searching so much, but I kept an open mind. I kept an open mind and, you know, you start off with the friends. And to my luck, I don't know how this panned out, to my luck, I bumped into this American girl. 
okay? From somewhere. <laughs> it just just happened, okay? Just bumped into this American girl. And um, she was very intelligent. The first thing that struck was she was amazingly intelligent, very creative. And uh, there was an instant connection. I mean, like I'm a creative guy. She's an amazingly creative woman. I'm, I consider myself slightly intelligent. She was very intelligent. I'm not, you know, like, um, I'm not very handsome. I think I'm average. But she was gorgeous. She was like, wow. She, I was like, ooh, is she? I was like, I was like whoa. She was like, ooh, hot. I was like, hmm. You know, for a minute, I, I didn't believe that. And I like, you know, and she was very mature. And I was uh, just average mature. So I was like, is this for real? For a minute, I thought this is fake. So obviously, I bumped into her on Facebook. And I was like, maybe this is a fake profile. So I was like, okay, fine. If you're real, we need to get into a Skype conversation. So she said, fine. Then I checked on her and she was still like, huh. I looked at her and I was like, my jaw dropped. I was like, wow, this is real. But then I was like, no, 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 wait a minute. This can't be so real. Maybe this is a secret mafia underworld operation where this woman is used as a bait to trust me. So like, aha, I'm not going to fall for it. Still, I was like, mm -hmm. so I was talking to her and all that. And later on, I was like, okay, she looks kind of real. And then I decided, okay, now it's time for me to meet up with her. I'll meet up with her and see what happens. And I met up with her and she was even better. She was like, wow. Seriously, she was like, okay, to, to give you an idea that Filipino girl, Apple, she was here in terms of beauty. Um, I Only I found her beautiful, maybe, or whatever. Let's assume she was beautiful. She's here. This American girl was up here. It's like, wow, okay. Intelligence, this girl was yeah, down, really down. Intelligence, this girl was way up there. Creativity, this girl was boop. Mm. Creativity, this girl was wow, up there. And... Uh, if I felt loved, okay, let's forget all that. Let's forget the, okay, I'm being superficial. I'm talking about beauty and all that. Fine. It, it, it is important, okay? Let's not, let's not fool ourselves. You wouldn't go for a really fat, super black, pimple-faced, elephant-sized, ginormous hippopotamus. Maybe if you would, but for me, a girl has to look attractive. So, um, so if we remove all those variables aside, the feeling of love, with this girl was up here. But with this girl, it went up and up and up. And every single day it went even higher, even higher, to the point where yeah, I I can't express it. I mean, it was like it's like I wanna I I wanted to be with this girl for the rest of my life. It was like that. It was such a magical wow. So what what am I trying to say is the, the, the point I'm trying to make is sometimes when you break up, trust me, maybe it is truly the best thing that can ever happen to you. Seriously, it's give yourself a chance. You know, like today, you know, I was very bitter that this girl dumped me, that this girl left me. I was really, really bitter. But today when I look at it, I'm like, wow, thank you. Thank you so much because if you had not broken up with me, I wouldn't have kept the doors of my heart open and I wouldn't allow someone else to come in. I would have been stuck with you and who knows, like, you know, you're, you're bad at making choices and you made such a rubbish choice. Maybe you would have messed up my life, you know. And just think of it. She was Filipino. This is American. Like, hello. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I had to say it. She's an American. Come on, American. For an Indian guy, it's like, you know. So, it's like, it was something to brag about. I got an American girl. Indian guy, Indian guy get American girl. Ha ha. You know, that kind of bullshit. <laughs> so, sorry. You know. Come on, I'm being honest, okay? Um, but keep the nationality aside. Keep the looks aside. Looks is important. She was amazingly hot. Ooh, she's hot. Did I tell you she's hot? She's like, ah, unbelievably hot. Ah. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Control yourself. Um, sex was like, ah, wow. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> no, sorry. 
But apart from that, the conversations we had, the connections we had, the chemistry that we had, I have never, ever, ever in my life, ever, ever, ever in my life had such amazing conversations, such amazing chemistry, such amazing thought-provoking moments. Never. I mean, she was perfection. I, I could never see a more perfect girl. Never. So what happened? Obviously, you have the question, so what happened to this girl? Well, uh, you know, she had to go, you know, they had to say bye, so whatever, it's finished, so. But, and we said goodbye in a nice way, okay, we said goodbye in a nice way, and we, we went off our directions. But with the feeling of, you know, feeling so loved, it was like, wow. So, what I'm trying to tell you is, sometimes, seriously, sometimes, Breaking up, having a breakup can maybe be the best thing that can ever happen to your life. Truly the best thing. It can change your life. It can keep you happy. It can it can change the way you look at life. And today, I'm a different guy. I'm a different man. And I'm so grateful to all my exes. To all my exes, thank you so much for breaking up with me. Thank you because every time you broke up with me, I had the opportunity to fall in love with someone better. Seriously, someone better, someone so amazing that I can't describe it. So, boy from LimeMacedo.com and his LimeMacedo is sharing with you the simple fact, the truth, the bitter truth that maybe breaking up, getting dumped, or being left is maybe the best thing for you because it'll open doors of unbelievable possibilities that can change your life forever. I'm so in love. Ah. Anyway, Lloyd from LiveMacedo.com and this is sharing with you his views. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you and goodbye for now.